Wishes in the mouths of the dead. That's pretty low. Huh? You can't say what Sarah would want, even if she weren't dead. Yet you go making up handy lies. She would have wanted you to do this. No, she wouldn't want you to do that. That's just plain dishonest. You want me to apologize? Are you saying Sarah wouldn't have wanted me to save Snow from that... from that hell? You told me to do it in the first place. Sorry, but I'm special, you see? The rules don't apply to me. Anyway, Sarah's not even dead. And I'm not talking about any of that sweet, oh, she's still alive in everyone's heart, garbage. You know? I don't need you to tell me that. I know she's not gone. I know her soul is here with us. I can feel her presence even now. Isn't that just what you want to believe? How do you know you're not just too scared to face the truth, clinging to some false idea of hope? You know, you're a lot weaker than I thought you were. Sis. Good to see you again. I still have those memories, you know, of when I first met Snow. I was with my mother. Her name was Nora. For a long time, I wanted to kill Snow. I dreamed of plunging a dagger into his heart, whispering my mother's name in his ear. I still remember our first meeting. It didn't go well. Mother was with me. There was a battle going on. She joined Snow to protect me, and then she was killed. I saw it happen, and I blamed Snow. I remember I was angry and filled with rage. I vowed to kill him, but you saved me. You showed me a way out of my anger. Looking back on it now, it's like it happened to someone else. I remember being angry, but I have no idea how that felt. Perhaps it's been too long. That wasn't very nice, now was it? What you did to poor Mog? It looked like it hurt. I couldn't help it, I just reacted out of instinct. I don't go in for people hugging me or Moogles, even if I'm glad to see them. I think you actually enjoyed the hug. You just lashed out to cover your embarrassment. Am I right? Hope, you better drop it. You're treading on dangerous ground now. Vanille and Fang turned into a giant crystal pillar, and together they held up an entire world. We were all supposed to be in it together, but in the end, the entire burden fell on their shoulders. So you see, they have to be helped. We don't have any choice. We owe them.
we offer rest for... May the goddess bless you with good fortune. with feathers of white will lead you toward your destined path. Now is the time. You must make your way to the temple. I will stand right here, praying for your safety and for your soul. The Chocobo is fully recovered from his wounds. I think it's time, Light. Fate has brought you this far, and the Chocobo is ready to take you the rest of the way. Go. to the temple. Find the source of the great chaos. The winds that howl around Polta wear down everything that stands before them. Build these patterns on the rock to me inside that temple or so I... But none of us can enter the So I stand here instead to watch... Much to I pray the goddess. Your mission was to bring me here, 
to the gates of this temple, and you've completed that task. <coughs> From here on in, I go it alone. What happens next is the Savior's job. <coughs> the Temple of the Goddess. It was not originally a part of this world, but was left here when Valhalla fell. Legends tell us that the Great Chaos sleeps within this temple's walls. It would most likely refer to the power that has destroyed this world. The unseen chaos that has torn the world apart, and it was unleashed by one man, all because he wanted to stop time for a girl he loved. Caius Ballad. If only I could have stopped him earlier. But I didn't. appeared in the temple, and the chaos reacted to it. Is someone manipulating the chaos somehow? Or does it actually have a will of its own? The chaos in that temple is not the normal kind. That is obvious enough. looking for uh. what are you trying to do there are no souls here for you to save just dead people waiting for the end to come I knew it you know nothing you don't know what this place is but I do it's a graveyard for the living dead no one here seeks your salvation We seek only oblivion. So, we meet again, Caius Ballad. It's been a while, woman who would be goddess. But you are no goddess now. You are a hunter of souls. <laughs> You'd be dead by now. Ah, death. Were it so. But they won't let me die. Instead, I must haunt these halls a corpse living a life bereft of meaning. Savior, the temple of the goddess has become a shrine to chaos. A place for the dead. A world where the living dare not tread. But if they do, they must be ready to face the chaos. Hey! When you're inside this temple, you're going to lose your powers. You don't belong here. You should leave while you can. Are you giving me safety tips? That's not like you. So, you're, uh, going after him. You must really hate him. Though I guess he did destroy the world, right? Hm. Light, are you okay? Respond if you can hear me. I'm fine, but it was a long fall. How far down am I? Can you tell? You seem to be on the lowest level of the temple. Give me a second to find a route out. That was an unpleasant surprise, though. To think that Caius was still alive. I wonder, why would that man be trying to use the great chaos to thwart God's plans now? The line is full of noise. It's interference from the chaos. And it's probably not too good for your health, either. The 
This great chaos is incredibly dense. My instruments can't handle it. The readings are off the scale. I'm not picking up any signs. Can you see my blade? <laughs> Just because you can't detect anything doesn't mean there's nothing lurking inside. In this chaos, I wouldn't trust your sensors to tell you what's going on. You're probably right. It's not called unseen chaos for nothing. There are things that can't be seen by the eye or, or my sensors. Yeah, even if you can't see it, I hope you can still track it. Keep me updated if anything seems to change. You want me to track something I can't see? You must really think I'm a miracle worker. I'll do my best. You. You are God's savior. You lead souls to the new world. And you are the Cirrus, Padra Suyul. The encounter is ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead, whence the chaos flows. Here you will meet the servant of fate, adorned with feathers of white, the angel of Valhalla. It was your voice. You were the one that I heard in the Wildlands. Through the chaos, my message was born. I spoke so that you might know the future. 
And so that you would learn of my wish and make it true. Only the Savior can. It must be you. Me? What do you want me to do? Save the soul that cannot rest. Please, save Caius. He has lost his undying heart. He no longer wants to live. He yearns to die. But he cannot. The chaos binds him and forces life upon him. So, the man who wanted to stop time has managed to stop his own. And now, he's trapped. As the savior, you have to help him. Bring him salvation and release his soul. The serious Yule. I don't know what's going on yet, but her presence here is no coincidence. She's connected with this chaos in one way or another. But the unseen chaos that Caius let loose on the world was his attempt to save her. Right. Are you hear me? The line cut out again and I couldn't get through to you. We read the hidden paths of fate. I'm fine. No need to panic. Well, I was a little worried, you know? This chaos is wreaking such havoc on my readings. Alright, I guess you can't see what I'm seeing, but there are lights down here. I think someone is trying to show me the way. I guess I'll follow. I entrust. Su Yul, the girl who could see the future, and Caius, her would-be guardian. Caius is here because of you. That much is obvious. But why? I'll release your soul. Is she just a fragment of the chaos? Is she a mirage conjured up by the forces in the temple? Or is there something going on that's even more sinister? She was reborn over and over again until Caius managed to break the cycle. She sh should be dead, but instead she's alive inside this great chaos. First time for me. The Yule you met before was a different Yule. All right. Huh. So that makes you a Yule from another era. Yes. One of the countless Yules, with all the memories of our predecessors. 
and we die over and over. I had a wish of my own, though. I bestowed him with the power of... But I was mistaken. When I gave him eternal life, he turned his back upon... must be part of the chaos. I build a bridge of light. 